Hey everyone, and welcome to the second Fresh Tech Talk. Luckily, this one was not delayed like the last one. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'm glad we could make it this week, though. But sadly, though, this week's guest couldn't make it, so we have to do it a little. Ah, well, we got, a f we got a lot of articles to cover today, so let's just get into them. So the first article is from Anand Tech, uh, and the title is Intel uh, is discontinuing the Core i9 9900K special decoration packaging, apparently. So Intel has announced that they will discontinue the special Core i9 9900K packaging. So the packaging was interesting, to say the least, and it made the chip stand out the most because of the iconic packaging. Because the new Comet Lake CPUs have been released, therefore is the 9900K not on top of the lineup anymore, as the 10900K has taken its place. So retailers have until June the 26th to order the 9900Ks with special packaging, and the last shipment of these will be on the Ju July the 10th. However, the non-special retail version of the chip will still be available. Oh wow, that's interesting. Yeah, really I, honestly, as an AMD fanboy, I really like the 9900K special packaging. It's just something different. It looked really good, to be honest. Yeah. Well, shall we continue? Yeah, sure. The title is New AMD A520 Chips and Motherboards Registered. So, ASRock registers 12. A520 boards, emphasizing budget builders, motherboards, have been registered by ASRock. Successor to the previous entry-level A320 chipset, the A520 um, is designed with Ryzen 3 and Athlon processors in mind. Okay, so that would be pretty good for budget builders, for yeah. sure, because Ryzen 3 and Athlon is pretty budget. Yeah. So, um, it comes with a number of compromises over more expensive, feature-rich motherboards. So, for example, no overclocking, no PCI um, Express Gen 4. Um, I.O. is also limited. There will be only four SATA ports. Um, nine USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports. And all should be MATX or MITX. And they should... Um, released in the third quarter of 2020. That's... So, regarding the I.O., I mean, 9 USB 3.1 Gen 2 ports, that's still a lot. And 4 SATA ports is probably more than enough for budget build. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I don't think you would need more than that. No, not really. Build. And... No PCI Express 4.0 might be a problem in the future, but B550 is not that more expensive and it does have PCI 4.0. So if you really yeah. need it, just go for B550, I guess. Yeah, uh, I guess so. And, I mean, if you're on a super tight budget, I would go with B520 then. Um, yeah. As it would be fairly cheap. Yeah. And I'm glad that the A320 chipset is finally gone, because that was getting quite old right now. Yeah. So, well, the next article, I guess? Yeah, sure, go on. So, this article is from Notebook, Notebook Check, and the title is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 leaked, GA102 320-bit bus, 10GB of VRAM, and 4325 CUDA cores. So, a picture, supposedly, of the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3000 has surfaced online. The card is supposedly a prototype or an engineering sample, uh, so the final retail units may look nothing like the one pictured. The upside-down RTX 3080 is certainly quite odd. So, while there are two fans, they are placed on opposite sides, which is quite weird, but if it works, it works. So these are completed by large heatsinks, 
and the PCB also appears to have an irregular shape. The blue coloring uh, around the card is a protective wrap that covers the presumably aluminum shroud, and people have been offering potential specifications for this card. So the one that gained some traction is from Copite 7 Kimi, who has a history of providing accurate NVIDIA leaks according to them. So NVIDIA may have based the RTX 3080 on the GA102-200 GPU. The card could feature up to 4,352 CUDA cores, 10GB of VRAM, and a 32-bit bus. That's quite a lot of features. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so if any of that is true, then the RTX 3080 has the makings of a very compelling card. This card should also come in the third quarter of 2020, just like the A520 chipset. Yeah, wow. Um, that is... that sounds really good. I am now very, very curious about the uh, pricing for the uh, new Ampere cards. Yeah, same. Because if they are reasonable, I might as well get one. Yeah. Uh, same goes for me. Yeah, I... I was holding back on the 20... 2000 series cards because the pricing was just a bit too high for the performance. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Uh, but we'll see. Also, the price yeah. drops for the uh, 2000 series might be interesting. Yeah, it would. Alright, moving on then, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so um, the title of this article is Big Navi will be AMD's first RDNA, RDNA 2 based product and not the next gen consoles and this article is by PC Gamer. Um, AMD has confirmed that the big Navi graphics cards will be the first RDNA, RDNA 2 based products. AMD looks like they are trying to deliver Radeon GPUs with the performance of an RTX 2080 Ti. Um, and because it will be based on the RDNA 2 architecture, um, that means that uh, it will feature AMD's uh, take on ray tracing. The fact that the uh, Navi 2 GPUs will be the first silicon of the RDNA 2 graphics looks like they will be coming out ahead of the next gen consoles. As the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 will presumably launch in the holiday period, which would see a November unveiling for the uh, Big Navi GPUs. Hmm. AMD CFO Devinder Kumar stated that AMD is on their track uh, to the launch of the next gen Zen 3 based CPUs and the RDNA 2 GPUs in late 2020. Kumar says Big Navi is a Halo product. Enthusiasts love to buy the best, and we are certainly working on giving them the best. That would mean that the Navi 2 cards will be expensive, and it should deliver some competitive gaming performance against the top of NVIDIA's GPUs. But if that is compared to the current Turing, or the upcoming Ampere architecture, is still a question for the future. But RDNA RDNA 2 will not be the only high-end, all coming Radeon cards will have the big Navi genetics. With AMD and Nvidia set for the high performance card cards for the end of the year, and the full lineup in 2021 will mean that it looks good for PC GPUs. And the big names seriously competing will only mean good things for us, the consumers. So that is interesting. Yeah, that is interesting, especially with uh, NVIDIA's new uh, RTX 3000 series. I wonder how AMD will react to that then again, because this one is supposed to compete with the RTX 2000 series apparently. Yeah. So I wonder how that would go. Yeah, that, that would be very interesting to see. Also, yeah. I am very curious about the pricing because in the past, uh, AMD's cards like the 5700 XT they are priced pretty competitively. Yeah, very competitively. Yeah. Especially so, against what they're competing. Yeah. Uh, because the 5700 XT is competing against uh, the 2070 Super, and it was quite a lot cheaper than the 2070 Super. Yeah, that's very true. 
um, well, the thing is, it didn't have ray tracing, but yeah, um, next gen uh, that it will have ray tracing, so that will be interesting to see how AMD's take on ray tracing will be. Yeah, very interesting. So that's quite exciting. I wonder how yeah. that'll go. So I have a little bonus article here. Oh, okay. uh, so there's, I don't have a lot of information on it. All I have to say is that AMD Ryzen 7 3800 XT will clock to 4.8 gigahertz. Oh wow! So that's yeah. that's very high. 4.8. That's almost Intel uh, yeah. clocks, basically. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. Um, that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching uh, our second episode of Fresh Tech Talk. We hope you enjoyed and Anything to say, Claire? Yeah, um, we hope to get uh, the guests on next week. Yeah, definitely. And that would be exciting. Yeah, very exciting. So, anyways, uh, like I said, thank you for, much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. is banging absolutely yeah i am very curious i might as well i i might even switch over to an amd gpu if the drivers are okay i will too yeah i mean the 570 xt's drivers have been updated recently no more black screening apparently okay that's good yeah